Joseph Salmon who is chairman House Committee on Climate Change. Well, just before we went on that break, you were trying to, uh, you know, say some of the things that you, th some of the areas you think that the committee should focus on. Yeah, I, I was actually trying to say that in the amendment of 2010, specific things were achieved. For instance, given a time frame within which electoral uh, court cases were determined, mm -hmm. you know, from Tribunal 180, Court of Appeal, 60 days. That's a wonderful improvement because in the past, it used to take forever. You know, you find someone who perhaps didn't win an election, sit either in the House of Assembly, the House of Reps, or the Senate, or as governor until the matter is disposed of, maybe after two years or so, uh, before you, uh, you got him out. But the amendment assisted us in ensuring that these cases now are determined within a, a time frame. So I would like to see a situation where Ken Namani's committee uh, is able to make recommendations towards ending inconclusive elections. Uh, well, I know we are dealing with uh, our social situation. Ending elections that are fraught with, you know, violence and all other problems that have been actually affecting uh, the conduct of elections in Nigeria. I know we cannot solve all the problems at the same time, but it's important to single out key things and address them, just like uh, the amendment of 2010 was able to do with uh, um, court cases. Oh, we'll, we'll go to Lagos now with some questions. All right, yeah, let, let me bring this up. I mean, uh, you have some belief in this uh, Senator Ken and Amani committee, but would you then agree or would you be disappointed if, for instance, in coming up with some recommendations to curb some of the challenges we've seen with our elections lately, there are those who suggest that, look, there were key recommendations that were made at the time. For instance, placing the burden of proof on INEC. Would you be disappointed if they don't consider that as a key recommendation? Um, I would not be, because uh, over time, we have seen some improvements. Like I mentioned earlier, it would have been safer, it would have been less expensive to, uh, for the president to get his advisors to look through recommendations of uh, Mohamed Owai's uh, committee and then say, let's get these uh, incorporated. But since we have this committee established or impaneled, it appears to me that there is a problem or some problems that the president has identified that they, they, are, they are going to solve. So I, would, I would not be totally, totally disappointed. To be considered. Hmm. Would you want this committee, Sorry. would you want this committee to consider that recommendation, placing the burden of proof on INEC? Well, if they look through it, because actually this is a challenge, if they look through it and see, because I listened to him very carefully, he said they were not going to copy. It appears to me that he's going to come up with his own recommendations. If he deems it fit, I would advise that he should go ahead and include it for consideration so that yeah, it is reversed. But at the moment, I mean, uh, the, let's come to the House of Representatives now, because I mean, we'll hear Senator talk about the fact that even if they finish, it's still going to come back to the National Assembly for uh, at least if they are to include it in the law. So one can then ask, based on that, do you also think that, look, the recommendations or whatever novel or new things that this government has seen they should have just sent it to the National Assembly straight away.
Uh, I, I actually commented about that a few minutes ago. I said I would have considered that the best option to save costs at this time when we are in recession, uh, to ensure that this is done speedily, because uh, Mohamed Owai's uh, committee spent a lot of time and covered the entire country, had you know, um, interactions with different geopolitical zones, and um, they spent quite, 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 quite some time, and it was very productive because I have taken time to read the, the other recommendations. So for these people, for this committee to work within 10 days. 10 weeks. Uh, sorry, 10 weeks, and submit their report. It appears to me that perhaps what they intend to do uh, perhaps uh, is, is already identified, and not much is going to come out of it. Yet you're not suspicious. Uh, Instead, you're optimistic. I'm optimistic that, that from the experiences that we have had as a nation, considering the changes that occurred with different electoral reforms, different constitutional reforms, is not right for us to preempt the outcome of the committee. That's what I said. L but I had also said, but if the advisors had gone ahead to look through the wise reports and say, okay, let this be included, perhaps uh, we're not going to have need for the committee. But since we have always witnessed changes, which I have pointed out, in having electoral reforms from time to time, it's not as if we're going to continue with this forever. But you Maybe. Know it's amazing yes, every time we talk about anyway. issues like this. Uh, what uh, comes to mind is the National Assembly. One wonders why the Assembly uh, hasn't actually taken this uh, up first before the government decided to set up this committee. Uh, for Senator Arisha and even yourself, everyone agrees agree that we must go into that. We must look into the books and see how we can tweak it and make it better. Why is it that the Assembly, till this moment, hasn't actually put this on the front burner? Um, thank you. The, the reason is simple. This period, this administration has just come in. This is not the first, because the amendment came in 2010, and it led to improvement, remarkable improvement in our electoral process in 2011, and again in 2015. So if you witness such positive developments, it's not as if that's the only area you want to focus on. But now that the president has set up a committee uh, for them maybe to look at the wise report and perhaps come up with something new, the assembly is prepared, like I said, to work with the executive and ensure that uh, whatever positive thing that is recommended is incorporated as an amendment into our electoral act. You know, we're looking at time here. Uh, uh, you recall that so many people had thought that this would have happened even before the Edo election. We also have the Ondo election coming up. How soon would you love to see this uh, done? Uh, we're looking at the speed with which this committee must go and the Assembly uh, coming to also assist the government and the people on this. I've made the point that this is going to be for about 10 weeks. And um, if they conclude their work within the uh, time frame given to them, I see the assembly supporting the executive. I, I, I know I can look back to 2010. In 2010, I saw some of these amendments being done just within weeks. So it's entirely possible for the National Assembly to work with the executive, effect the necessary amendments, and have the act out there for the president to assent to. So the issue of time now, yes, is of essence, but I know that something that is very important, I mean, it doesn't take forever for the assembly to pass bills into law. So it depends on the urgency, and I can assure you that with the way this assembly has worked so far, with the executive, I have no doubts whatsoever that as soon as the job is completed and the recommendations are in order and are intended 
to improve our electoral process. The Assembly yeah. definitely will go ahead. You know, let, let me bring it in before we wrap up because, I mean, I see lots of people also focusing on this one. Just this last election, we saw how the whole state was shut down so that elections can go on. And there are many wondering how, uh, let me say, the House of Reps now, which you belong, how come they've not seen all of this and taken it up? For instance, how do they vote on election day and still go to work and not shut down the whole economy because of that, given the kind of situation that we're in? You've read through the West Report. You also saw the part where they spoke about custody of election materials for tribunal. Or how do you also stop state governors from using state funds to prosecute electoral matters? So all of these are things that many expect the House of Reps, for instance, to have looked into before we even proceed, but it's not happened yet. Yeah, thank you, Chamberlain. See, improvements have been recorded, and that's, that's why I'm still referring to that. And that's why I have talked about it and mentioned instances severally. Um, you've talked about governors using uh, their own money to prosecute uh, electoral uh, challenges or courts or tribunal cases. Recall that before now, which I mentioned just a few minutes ago, governors or House of Reps members or senators or House of Assembly members, they will sit there for about two years, two and a half years, before their cases were determined. But now we've been able to improve on that, down to 180 down to 60 days for these other levels of uh, um, elections. I foresee a situation where, due to general improvement in the conduct of election and the confidence of the voters, that is vital. Right now, I think the confidence is, is wavering. The confidence of the voters in believing or in the electoral process, knowing that election is the only process through which you legitimize the selection of leadership or someone who is going to uh, administer the resources of the state or make laws for you for a period of time. Once that confidence is built through proving cases of transparent and credible elections, we would not have a situation where we shut down uh, a state or shut down maybe two states because you are doing an election. Mm. All we have to do is to work together as a people, as a nation, improve the level of governance, restore the confidence of voters, and demonstrate to the electorate that you were not elected to engage in personal aggrandizement because when people lose the essence of what it takes to be a leader or why you are in a leadership position that's where you create doubts well representative sam onigwe we must thank you very much for coming on the program well we hope to also take you up very soon on uh, matters of climate change which you was committee you head in the house of representatives who is speaking with uh, honorable sam onigwe who is chairman house committee on climate change matters. Sunrise Daily will continue in just a moment. Don't go away.